Good morning once again to a thought for the day. You know, every so often as I'm looking for a thought to bring from God's word, I pray and say, oh God, will you help me to bring an encouraging thought, a word that will encourage and strengthen those who are listening this morning. And every time I pray, God answers. And I'm thrilled to be able to say that when we open God's word, it's just like being in a, 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 a diamond mine. And all of a sudden we find that diamond of great value and great price. But that very same diamond can sparkle in different ways for different people. The clarity of it can be amazing. And the clarity comes through revelation, through the Holy Spirit. But there are many facets to a diamond. And I'm glad that through the same diamond that we're looking at tonight, the very same promise that we look at this morning, can meet many different needs of different people. It might be that someone feels they're in a storm at the moment. This little promise can bring calm in the storm. It might be that there are those that cannot rest. This little promise will bring peace uh, uh, into your time of unrest. There are those that perhaps find themselves in a time of sorrow. This promise can bring joy into your time of sorrow. I trust that as we look at this little promise this morning, that each one will be encouraged. The verse we're going to look at is found in Isaiah chapter 50, and it's verse 7. And it simply says this, The Lord God will help me. Just a few words, just six little words, and yet they cover every aspect of our lives. I want you to listen to them. I want you to, to, to take them and claim them for your own in Christ this morning, the Lord God will help me. Not he might, not I hope that he will, but he will. These words are words of prophecy concerning the death of Jesus. We read these words, it says, He gave his back to the spiders, his cheeks to them that plucked off the very hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. And immediately goes on to say, for the Lord God will help me. Isn't that amazing? He knew that he had divine support of Jehovah. And we can know that. We can have that assurance too this morning. Time wouldn't allow us to go into the, those words that we've read so quickly this morning. But when it says that they spat upon him, they plucked the very hair from his face, oh, what Jesus went through for you and me. God help us to consider it each and every day and draw us closer to our wonderful Saviour. Have you ever tried to imagine the horrors that Jesus went through? The horrors, the physical pain, the emotional pain, the spiritual pain, and it was all for you and all for me. Now, as you consider his pain, Try and compare it to your pain. Oh, you say, what I'm going through today, what I'm experiencing at the moment. Try and consider uh, and compare his pain to your pain. And how insignificant our problems will seem to be. But we read this, that the Lord God will help thee. That's the promise to you this morning. Can you believe this same God that was there for Jesus while it, through his suffering upon the cross is there for you and is there for me. I thank God that he will not fail us. I thank God that he cannot fail us for he is the very same yesterday, today and forever. He cannot fail us in our time of need. It was needful that Jesus, the divine son of God, was forsaken. Why was it needful? So that we could be forgiven. But we are told this, that he will never leave you and he will never forsake you. Isn't that incredible? Never leave you nor forsake you. Or today we can rejoice that Jesus died alone so that we will never be alone. He who died and rose again did it so that we could have the assurance of God with us every moment of every day. The assurance of God that he will be our helper in our time of need. We can boldly set our face as a flint and press forth but if God is our helper, who can hinder? If God is our helper, who or what can hinder? Let us ask God 
to help us to take our eyes off our problems and turn our eyes upon Jesus. Turn our eyes upon Jesus, the provider. We used to sing a lovely little chorus, didn't we? Turn our eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. He is the one that will provide all that we need. He is the one who is able to meet all our needs. When the enemy comes against us, let us remember what Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 6 says. It says this, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. God replace our fear of men with our faith in a living God. I want to thank you for allowing me to come into your home this morning and just bring this thought. But I pray that you'll do something more, that you'll allow this thought to sink deep within your heart and in your mind, and that Christ will reign there. And peace will be yours. Victory and triumph will be yours. For ever living Christ. God bless you. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow.